Could the Boston Celtics be looking to make some key additions? The Boston Celtics have the best record in the NBA at 26 and 6. And in the offseason, they got a traded player exception that they could use in trades from losing Grant Williams in the offseason. And with that, the Celtics could use it to make a key addition to help out with this rotation. And we'll be breaking down a Bleacher Report article looking at three trade targets that the Celtics could go after and three possibilities of their fit styles and how I like them fitting in with this Celtics team. Welcome back to Celtics Digest. I'm Bruce Velez, but before we get into any Boston Celtics content, I would like to say that roughly right around 79% of our viewers are not subscribed. I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that big old red subscribe button and join the Celtics Digest family. We're getting closer and closer to our goal of 3,000 subscribers every day, so if you guys want to make sure you stay up to date with daily Boston Celtics news, hit that subscribe button. You definitely won't regret it. But let's dive into the news at hand today. So make sure to grab a snack and get ready to go as today is going to be a jam-packed episode as we dive in looking at the Celtics' best targets. And this is from an article looking at Legion Report. Like I mentioned, it came out today, so it's fresh and brand new news. Diving in, looking at every NBA team's top three trade targets by Zach Buckley. Thank you, Zach, for starting off the New York right with a great article to dive into. If you guys want to check out this article to look at plenty of other teams' top three trade targets, you can. But today, we're just going to be explore, exploring the Boston Celtics' best targets. And here we go. Let's dive in. So they say that the top three targets for the Boston Celtics are Chetty Osman from the San Antonio Spurs, John Conchar from the Memphis Grizzlies, and a guy that I really like, and Andre Drummond from the Chicago Bulls. The article says from Zach, the full-strength Celtics arguably have the association's best top six or even top seven if you're a fervid Sam Hauser fan, like myself. So they might just snooze their trade season and wait to see what the buyout market has to offer. Then again, the back end of their reserve rotation looks pretty bleak, so they might take a look a little bit more of a proactive approach. They don't have much in the way of wing depth, which is why Osman and Conchar are top the list. Both offer some dot-connecting, jack-of-all-trades appeal, and either could slide into the 8th or ninth spot in the rotation. Drummond, an obvious trade candidate, should the Bulls ever blow it up, would offer some great paint protection to a center mix that might need more insurance given Kristaps Porzingis' injury issues and Al Horford's age, 37. And I like what Zach puts out here, going into detail, explaining why we could use each of these three players. Personally, I am a big Sam Hauser fan, so I do believe that Sam Hauser is a great piece. But a guy like Shetty Osmond and John Contra could easily slid in, slide in and play that 8th to ninth role, while Andre Drummond also could be a nice backup center due to our lack of center depth, even though guys like Namus Keita and Luke Cornett have kind of started to emerge in the last couple of games. So has Andre Drummond in his capability in playing, and we'll dive into that in a little bit. But first, I want to dive into talking about the two other guys and looking at the wing depth that we were talking about. So let's bring up Chetty Osmond's stats so far this year for the San Antonio Spurs. He's played in 32 games and is averaging 7.6 points, 2.3 total rebounds, and 1.8 assists. Shooting 46% from the field, 35% from three, and 67% from the free throw. He's playing on a San Antonio Spurs team who's not the greatest, and Chetty Osmond is kind of, I won't even call him, a veteran in this league, but for this San Antonio Spurs team filled with a bunch of young guys from Trey Jones, from Victor Wembayama to Sandro Mamos Kelechvili, all of the above. They just have Keldon Johnson, Devin Vassell. There's just so many young guys on the San Antonio Spurs team. Chetty Osman has kind of been a backup, just role playing small forward for them, just helping out with whatever they need, not getting the greatest stats and the greatest points for this. San Antonio Spurs team, but but could be an effective wing and defender, and kind of like the article said, jack of all trades for a team like the Boston Celtics, who could use that kind of wing depth. We already have some wings in that, and Lamar Stevens and O'Shea Brissett, and we've seen them have their flight spots in some of these games. Recently, O'Shea Brissett and Lamar Stevens, when they've had to start, have been fantastic for the Boston Celtics, but they haven't made so much impact plays for the Celtics bench that some fans would like to see. Maybe a guy like Shetty Osman could be that new life side of life guy that could come in and be a solid defensive stopper. If we want to look at another guy that the article mentioned, they mentioned John Conchar, who plays for the Memphis Grizzlies, who's been kind of slotted toward the end of their rotation this season. John Conchar has played in only 25 games and is averaging 3.6 points, 4.1 total rebounds, and 1.4 assists. 
off of 38% field goal shooting, a career low compared to his career, which is 47%, 32% from three, which is low, and a free throw percentage high of 77. Personally, I don't really watch that many Memphis Grizzlies games, but John Contrar seems like just a nice defensive wing stopper to help out on the bench, who could be an effective shooting guard or small forward for the Boston Celtics, but I don't think that's necessarily what we need. As I think a guy like Sfima Hailuk kind of already plays a similar role to John Conchar and kind of would be getting a similar play style or a similar time. And even though John Conchar has been on a great team like the Memphis Grizzlies and has had some bright spots in his shooting capability, his shooting stats just aren't great this year. And if the Memphis Grizzlies expect to be a solid team with John Morant being back since they have been, since he has been back, I expect the Memphis Grizzlies to kind of contend and try to win. With a player like John Conchar, even though he's been slotted towards the end of the rotation, he could be a solid and effective piece to help out the Memphis Grizzlies in this late playoff push if he does get the shine from this team. So I think that the Boston Celtics looking at a guy like John Conchar isn't that bad, but I don't think takes us a step above, and I don't think it's useful for the TPE. But the guy that I like the most out of this list that I want to discuss is Andre Drummond. Now, if you guys don't recall, Andre Drummond, since Nikola Vucevic has been out, has stepped up tremendously for the Chicago Bulls in his last two games, posting fantastic outings of 25 and 24, re- 25 points and 24 rebounds, 25 rebounds and 19 points. He's been just absolutely a beast for the Chicago Bulls team. And if the Chicago Bulls do look to blow it up, I would definitely like the Boston Celtics to inquire on Andre Drummond. This year, he is averaging 7 points, 8.1 total rebounds, and 0.5 assists. shooting from the field, 0% from three, and 56% from the free throw. So he's even doing better from free throw, doing all right from the field because he's just shooting around the rim, but he is doing what he's supposed to do, getting those rebounds and dominating, and even in when he is starting for the Chicago Bulls. Now, personally, I think the Chicago Bulls will blow it up. We've all heard the rumors of the Zach Levine trades. I believe that he will be moved by... I don't know, mid-January, maybe the start of February, and then we'll see how the Chicago Bulls look. They decide to move off of guys like DeRozan and Vucevic and go the full tank. I could see guys like Andre Drummond and Alex Caruso also being auctioned off as well, just because they could be viable pieces to help out a bench to compete for a championship. And I think Andre Drummond definitely could help out the Boston Celtics playing back up big. Like the article said, Porzingis has had already some injury history so far. We already see at the start of the season, he had the plantar fasciitis, which he had to sit out of the FIBA World Cup. Then he has the left calf strain with the Boston Celtics, which he's been nurturing, sitting out on rest days and back-to-backs. So... It is tough to see that, and with Al Horford just getting older and older and older and having to rest on the back-to-backs, we do need a solidified backup big. Luke Cornett stepped up tremendously in the game that he started just a couple nights ago for the Boston Celtics, and Namus Keita averaging a double-double throughout the season and putting up two career triple-doubles in that Western Conference road trip definitely helped his role to get up there as well. But a guy like Andre Drummond has that championship experience, has that NBA experience better than Luke Cornett and Namus Keita does, and I think could be a better option for the Celtics to bring in. Obviously, all three of these guys, the Boston Celtics go after that we talked about in this article or guys that the Celtics could go after with the traded player exception, which they got from Grant Williams with losing him to Dallas Mavericks this offseason. Personally, I don't see the Celtics using a bunch of their smaller contracts and guys like Banton and Brissett and Seema Hailuk with a couple picks to upgrade. I think the Celtics will ultimately use the traded player exception with a couple of second rounders that they got in the draft class to get a solidified backup piece. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, though. I want to know, out of the three guys that we mentioned, Chetty Osman, John Conchar, and Andre Drummond, let me know who you guys think the Boston Celtics should get out of the three of those. And if you want to rank them personally, let me know what you guys' rankings are. I'd personally go with Drummond first, Chetty Osman second, and John Conchar third. Personally, I think Chetty Osman just brings a little bit more depth at the wing position. He's a little bit bigger than John Conchar can be, and John Conchar's shooting stats just aren't the greatest this season. But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Celtics Digest. I'm Bruce Velez, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.